hello guys you're welcome once again to my channel now this is the plunge or deep neckline we'll be learning how to make today so the focus of this tutorial is sewing it and turning it with your lining neatly now can you see the lining it's so neat and beautiful most people find this difficult but trust us on this channel to always make things easy for you this is the yoke guys i've cut it on the mesh and it is cut i cut two because i like doubling my yoke now you place the two together i are going to be turning the neckline with the sewing allowance you added then after that i use my stitch to secure it down now this is the lining i've ironed it with paper gum and the bustier area so go ahead and do yours then remember this because it is not cut on food we added half half inch sewing allowance all around except the side seam now you are going to notch where the yoke will stop and you are going to mark half inch all the way down then you sew it so this is it after sewing and i also sew the actual fabric that is the lace then i went ahead to notch that part where we are going to be fixing the yoke that is on the pattern where your yoke will stop you go ahead and notch that part so i also notch the lace as well so it could be ankara or whatever fabric you are using to sew go ahead and do this on both the actual fabric and the lining now when you iron it you have something like this yeah can you see then you now take your yoke so watch what I do carefully. You take your yoke and you are going to notch the middle of that point said side. Yeah, you are going to notch the middle and you place your yoke on the lace. Now make sure half inch is going inward before the notch area on the lace. So make sure half inch of the yoke is going inward. Then you use your pin to just hold it down. Use it to hold the other side. That is why you notch it. So you can tilt one side to the other side. Then you tilt one side to this other side. Then you take one side of the yoke. Then you start pinning it down. You pin it down all the way to where the yoke will stop. Can you see what I'm doing? So when you pin it down to that part, we are not going to sew it with 0 0.25. Just sew it small because we will need lining to turn it later with half inch. After sewing, this is how it is. Now I'm removing the pins. Then this is it from the outer part now let's sew the other side so you take the other side and you are also going to start pinning can you see how it is yeah so you tilt that other notch parts to the other side and you start pinning Now you are going to pin to the other side. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please kindly do so. Like this video if you find it very interesting. Don't worry, it's, it's going to be very interesting. So kindly give me a like. Guys, so I'm going to be sewing it now with 0 0.25. After sewing, I went ahead to remove the pins. And this is it. Can you see how neat, how neat it is? Now the trick there is... On how to turn it with lining that is where most people find it difficult so you are going to turn it to the inside and you fold it that way can you see the way I folded it fold it into two and you now take your lining now your lining you are going to join it together back side facing back side can you see that is the good side facing the other good side and you place it so the notched area you know you also notch the lining then place the notch on both on each other and you start pinning from that notch side 
so you pin to the notch side you pin all the way to the other side then now make sure your dart line matches with the dart line of the lining and you pin then after that you are going to be sewing so when you are sewing guys start from the actual allowance the half inch allowance you added when you were cutting that is where you add you start sewing from that is you are now sewing the full half inch so after sewing this is how it is i'm going to turn it for you for you to see can you see now we fix one side this is how it is you fix one side so let's fix the other side now then you turn it again i'm just trying to show you so you turn it again that way i are going to take the other lining i are going to match it with the other side notched half inch then you are going to start sewing from the you will see the line where you are going to start sewing because you are sewing the full half inch remember the yoke initially we sew with 0 0.25 now you are sewing with the full half inch so also match your lining that and your actual fabric that together then make sure you push your nets your mesh inward so that your thread doesn't climb on it so do a very neat job so this is me trying to pin you have to pin because it is also it is very good to pin pinning will give you a neat work then i'm going to be sewing and stop where our yoke stop now this is it after sewing i remove the pins then i'm notching it you have to notch your two sides so that your bust you know your pattern can relax very well after that i went ahead to turn it and voila our yoke is ready now what i normally do is i don't top stitch something like this i'll use my hand needle and thread to sew it together then i will iron sew the lining and the fabric together on all the lines where i sew so can you see how neat it is it is looking all neat and beautiful so guys i'll see you all in my next one bye